Hi everyone, welcome to Life Plus Compass. I'm very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Scorpio for the second half of February. We're going to pull several messages and see what comes through, what we need to know, what are the energies that are strongest around you during that time, what's uh, coming your way. Please do keep in mind that not every message and not every reading will be for every one of you. Let's go ahead and start. Messages for Scorpio. What's happening with my Scorpio? Second half in February. Hangman. Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, this guy needs to come out. Seven of Swords. Three of so or three of Wands, sorry. Queen of Swords, and what else for Scorpio, the Moon in Reverse, okay, Scorpio, let's go ahead and clarify your cards, let's see what's going on here, we're going to start with Hangman, Hangman, Five of Emotions, Muse of Inspiration, Page of Emotion, and Awakening. Wow, look at that. You have a hangman together with Awakening. Definitely some enlightening happening here. Enlightenment is happening here. You are definitely ascending some new level when it comes to your spirituality. This is absolutely beautiful. And look at this. Your heart is lit here. You're, uh, you're listening to your God feeling. This is absolutely beautiful. There is some change of perspective here. Um, I do feel like there is this energy of needing to be alone. There is this energy to need to focus on yourself. You might feel a little bit uh, um, um, left out out of certain things here. But it's necessary for you. It's necessary for your enlightenment process. It's necessary for your, I want to say, spiritual awakening here, Scorpio. This is beautiful. There is this path that you need to take. There is this path that you need to take on your own. Look at this. You have this angel wings going on here. Um, there could be some people that are, you know, around you that are celebrating, that are partying. And you just want to be on your own, connecting to your intuition and listening to your heart as in what you really want, focusing on your future, focusing on your desires, focusing on your life path here. This is what I see strongly. And this could be a different path from other people in your life. You could be taking a different path, but uh, this is definitely the right path for you. Very strong energy that during this uh, um, second half of February, you're going to take a lot of time for yourself. There could be people here inviting you out, inviting you out for some uh, celebrations, parties and stuff. But I feel like uh, you're going to focus on your alone time. Very interesting, Scorpio. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify this uh, Five of Cups. What is this about? Ten of Swords. Some sort of ending. Chariot, Temperance, beautiful, and Page of Voices, I love this energy for you. There is some ending that happened here, there was some ending here possibly with um, a Cancer or Sagittarius here, those two coming strongly. There was definitely an ending of a relationship here. Some uh, This is for those of you, this is a message for those of you Libras, sorry, Scorpio. It could be a Libra here as well. You could have been dealing with a Libra with this page of voices and for me to say Libra. But uh, what I see Scorpio here, there was an ending of a relationship here. And um, this was a complete ending. There is no return here. There is uh, no reconciliation. I don't see any reconciliation coming through at this time. And what I see is that you're not reminiscing about this anymore. Five of Cups in reverse is telling me that you are looking forward. You are looking forward. You're, uh, you're exploring something new. You've been very patient with your healing process. You are alchemizing your energy here and you're moving on. You're moving on with this chariot card for sure. 
you're moving on from this ending and you are not reminiscing about this anymore. You're not looking at this, at this uh, three spell cups here. You're not looking at this relationship that is, um, uh, is broken here. You are looking towards your future. You're looking towards your future. You're looking towards new possibilities here and you are moving on. You're moving on from this ending. This is what I see. I love that for you. Very nice, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and find out what is this Seven of Swords. What is this Seven of Swords? Page of Inspiration. Eight of Inspiration in Reverse. Ace of Materials. And Nine of Emotions. Okay. All right, so something is going on around your uh, money situation. Something is going on around your career. I do feel very strong energy of somebody is uh, trying to steal your ideas here, especially if you are in a creative field or even if you're not, whatever it is, somebody is trying to steal your ideas here. Somebody is trying to present uh, your projects as their own or uh, your work as their own, and they're trying to um, stop you. They're trying to stop you from progressing here. Eight of inspiration in reverse, they're trying to hold you back. They're definitely trying to hold you back. Tr uh, they know that you're very determined. They, they know that you're very creative. They know that you can um, bring up some new ideas when it comes to uh, money, to life. And they're trying to stop you here. Be careful. There is this energy of deceit around you here. There's somebody who, like I said, is trying to... Um, steal something from you not necessarily money but uh, more of uh, ideas or your work and uh, they're trying to do it sneakily uh, they're trying to sneak away with it they're trying to sneak away with it they're trying to get away with it but what i see here is that you will be able to bring your um wishes to life here you will be able to bring these ideas to life here with the eight of nine of emotions you're above it all look at this <laughs> You're levitating above it all. You are very much connected to your intuition here. You are very creative here and you will be successful. Now, and the genie your wish, is going to bring your wishes to life here. So you will be able to get through this deceitful situation. And uh, this Ace of Materials is talking about new beginnings when it comes to your finances and jobs and new projects here. So yes, you will be successful, but do know there are people around you that are trying to stumble you on your path. They're trying to stop you. They're trying to hold you back. And like I said, possibly even take away something that is meant to be yours or that is yours, your creation. All right, Scorpio, a little bit of a warning there for you. Let's go ahead and now clarify three of wands. Three of wands for Scorpio. Look at that. We have four emotions coming out. Nine of inspiration in reverse. And magician in reverse. Let me see what is this about. Okay. All right. Okay. So what we see here is that you are waiting. You are waiting for something. You are waiting for something when it comes to your romantic love life. I do see that you went through some difficult times. You, you went through some heartbreak. Three of Voices is definitely talking about the heartbreak here. Uh, you could have been dealing with a um, fire sign that was in and out, that was not offering long-term commitment or any kind of commitment, to be honest. Somebody who could have been uh, quite manipulative as well. Somebody who manipulate you, maybe even cheated on you here, maybe even brought a third party here into the equation. And uh, I do see that it brought you a lot of heartache. And you are now waiting. You are waiting for something new. You are waiting for something new in your romantic love life. You could have been dealing with a Gemini here or a fire sign, but somebody who definitely broke your heart, somebody who manipulated you possibly into third party. What I see happening here is that your ships are coming. With three of wands here, your ships are coming. And although you don't see it, although you don't see it here, there is this huge, 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 huge cup of love that is coming your way. Look at these two people, this divine union here. There will be somebody coming into your energy very, very soon. And they will offer you a huge cup of love. You don't see it coming. This is going to happen when you least expect it, they definitely don't see it coming. You're still going through this heartbreak, but you are waiting for a change. You're waiting for something new and it is on the way. 
it definitely is on the way your ships are coming when it comes to your romantic love life that's what i see that's what i see scorpio all right let's go ahead and clarify this queen of swords energy of libra is coming very strong in your uh, reading i wanted to say libra so many times here and queen of swords could definitely represent a libra here so just putting it out there three of materials in reverse the fool in reverse whoa the emperor in reverse okay and six of materials okay i like to see that okay there is something going on in your workspace there is definitely something going on in your workspace there is uh, some boss energy here who is holding you back who is holding you back who's not letting you to go uh, uh, start new beginnings who's not letting you take a leap of faith into your uh, bright future here this is somebody who's over controlling this is somebody who's very authoritative this is somebody who's definitely holding you back here this is a very disharmonious, disharmonious work um, atmosphere. We've seen this here with this deceit energy here when it comes to your workspace as well, right? So I do feel like this is something that is connected here. You could have been dealing with the Aries, the Fool in Reverse and Emperor in Reverse. This is two cards of Aries. So very, very strong energy of an Aries here. Or somebody who embraces that fire energy. But somebody who's definitely in their distorted energy. Somebody who's very manipulative. They're very manipulative. They're very much capable of uh, taking your ideas and presenting them as their own. This is somebody who's gonna, um, who wants to get to the top no matter what. They will use any sort of um, tools and not always fair ones to get to the top. This is what I see very, very strongly here. Somebody who is capable of being dishonest, somebody who's capable of being manipulative, just to be uh, to get to the top, just to be in charge, just to get to that higher position here. So be careful in your work environment. If you're working for somebody else, if you're working in a group of people, there is definitely disharmonious energy here. But what I see very, very strongly is that there is this Queen of Swords that is finally making a decision here, seeing the justice in this situation and making some fair, fair judgment. Six of Materials is talking about a balance, especially on this card. You could talk about different things, could be talking about breadcrumbing and stuff like that in other decks, but the energy that I'm getting from this card very strongly is finally a balance. This is you receiving, uh, receiving justice for the amount of effort, time um, uh, that you put in into your work. This is definitely you receiving a, a good payback for uh, for what you, for what you're doing for what you work for. Uh, this is you being even recognized for your ideas. So I do feel that whoever this is, whoever this person is, this manipulative person here, this somebody who will do everything and anything to get to the top, whoever this is, this person is going to fall here. There will be somebody else, there will be a third party here, like I said, very, very, very strong energy of a Libra who's going to make a just decision here, who will see this through, who will understand what's going on here, and who's going to bring a balance into this situation. So be careful, a warning, definitely a warning in this reading, but I do love the outcome. Let's go ahead and find out what is this moon in reverse here for you. Moon in reverse for my Scorpio. Moon in reverse. Moon in reverse. Something is coming to light. Secrets are coming to light. Nine of inspiration. Beautiful. Queen of inspiration. And justice. Amazing. I love this. Beautiful. Okay, something is coming to light here. The secrets are being revealed. The, whatever has been going on behind your back, whatever this person, uh, this is again, we're talking about your work. This is, we're talking about your career here for sure. This inspiration, this is wants, this is your career. There's some situation that is coming to light. The, uh, the Any lies, any deceit that is going on around you here 
it's uh, being brought to light here with this moon in reverse the secrets are coming out and you've been so perseverant you've been so strong you've been so strong and determined to succeed in your career and you are getting the justice here ten of inspiration you are dropping the burdens of this completely disharmonious work environment you're dropping the burdens of all the secrets the seed possibly lies here and the justice is being served here if uh, this was going on if this was some sort of uh, uh, battle for a promotion here you are leveling up and you get in that managerial position that you, uh, you truly truly deserve you are very good in what you do you're very good when you do your work you can work independently you don't need much supervision you're very good in what you do here and uh, the justice is being served. We've just seen this with this Libra energy coming through here. The justice is being served and this is in your career. Dropping the burdens of all the secrecy, of all this deceit, all this disharmony here. Everything that was in the dark, you're dropping the burdens of that. You bring in the justice through. The justice is coming through for you and your career is blossoming here. Whoa, what an outcome what an outcome scorpio a little bit of a difficult time here a little bit of a difficult time but what an outcome let's go ahead and uh, clarify and uh, clarify but just pull some more messages with coffee cup oracle what else do we need to know here for scorpio look at that you have the coins you have the money coming through whoa and the tree the stability and growth beautiful beautiful the financial stability you deserve you've been working on is here for you old woman with sadness and let's see what is this about wow the justice is here again this is amazing this is absolutely amazing this um Per like this um, person that was kind of uh, competing with you here, like I said, this person that was a little bit uh, uh, deceitful here, not a little bit, but quite a lot actually, manipulative, this could be a female energy. Even the um, emperor that we've seen here, this emperor here, usually the emperor is uh, shown as an image, uh, image of a male persona where you have a female persona here. And you have this uh, female here with the sadness and the old woman. So... Uh, I would look out for female energy when it comes to this person, this possibly an Aries person that is trying to manipulate the situation here. But again, the confirmation is that justice is yours. The justice will be brought into the situation here. And you, this is going to be very lucrative for you. You will be definitely paid for your ideas, for your work, for your effort. And this is going to bring stability to you. You're going to be able to grow this beautiful tree of stability and uh, money. Money is coming. Wow. Amazing confirmation. All right, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and pull um, energy oracle card. We want to see what energy you should be aware of in the second half of February. This could be somehow connected to the messages we've got so far or something different. But the energy that you need to be aware of the most and I will also read out the affirmation that comes with it. Let's see. No. Okay. No is no. This is it. Okay. I had to jump out. Wow. Magician and the mirror. What a beautiful energy. This is an energy of you being able to manifest success. Being able to manifest abundance and beautiful future here this is you knowing what you are strong in knowing that you are this energy of somebody who's very good in what they do like i said you're very creative you're you're very good in your job you are able to bring uh, to uh, level up in your career here and this is you seeing your true power. This is you seeing, despite all these people around you that is trying to distort your energy here or possibly, um, you know, do some deceit or whatever it is here around you. This is you seeing your true power. This is you seeing your strength. This is you seeing your inner power 
and uh, you knowing that you have the knowledge and the skills to be able to succeed here. This is absolutely beautiful energy for you. You are the magician. You are the magician. You are the one who's going to bring this luck and stability into your life. And uh, you're the one who will succeed over all these people here that are manipulative here. Let's go ahead and um, read out the affirmation that comes with this card. I have all the power I need to create the destiny I desire. Magic happens when I live in consciousness and my eternal truth. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, I love this for you, Scorpio. This is a beautiful, beautiful message. Uh, there is some difficult time. There is some uh, um, warnings that we've seen here, but the outcome is just amazing. I truly hope this was helpful for you, Scorpio. I truly hope that this resonated for some of you. And um, if you feel comfortable, please comment on the reading and let me know what you think. Let me know if this was your story, if the, you resonated with this in any way, if this was helpful to you. And please like the reading. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to see you here again. Bye for now, Scorpio.